your boy AFZ back at it again and I'm probably going to piss somebody off with this one but it's got to be said Star Wars was never good there I said it and I'm going to explain why alright when Star Wars came out it wasn't hype because of, like, exquisite writing or capt you know, not captivating plot. You know what I'm saying? It was literally your standard, like, freaking popcorn cereal, all right? Like, fucking Flash Gordon or some shit. And all they did was just write their own characters and put it in a galaxy far, far away. Okay? Outside of special effects... It was never special. I'm sorry. It never was. Like, you can't ruin what was already pretty much bad, alright? The first Star Wars was like a camp film at best. At best. But it took off because it was different, alright? Look at all the stuff that was in the theaters around that time. Sci-fi was not popping like that, alright? Did it crack open the door? Yes. And it's funny when you think about it because... Star Wars, in fact, Star Trek came out before Star Wars, got canceled, Star Wars popped off, that got, that got the hype to bring Star Trek back, which was originally inspired by Star Trek, and I'm sorry, man, it's gotta be said, man, Star Trek over Star Wars all day, every day, every day, I don't care what you say. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it doesn't have its merits, and I'm not saying I've never been entertained by Star Wars. Hell yeah. Star Wars has been hella entertaining. Because I come in, I just want to see, you know what I'm saying? I just want to see some dope sci-fi shit, and that's all I came for. I don't need anything more than that. But I'm not going to put it on this fucking pedestal. Alright? Now, leave it this way. As far as Star Wars goes plot-wise, alright? You can literally take that story and as bare bones it reflects like every other story that was coming out at that time. Oh look, it's 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 the it's the regular guy that's living his regular life. And then somebody comes along and goes, Hey, you're not regular at all. You should come with me to this place where apparently you have this special gift that you can use amongst other people who have special gifts or whatever and then you find somebody then you find out hey here's the big bad that has the same special gift you do oh wait that person actually has a connection to you who was living your regular ass life your whole goddamn life until you went out on this fucking journey and then you go ahead you have some fights you meet some friends you have some fights all right, and in the end, you beat the bad guy, and now you're the fucking man, right? Star Wars, right? I'm also talking about Harry Potter. Got yeah, him. Fuck Harry Potter too while I'm here. All right, like it could easily, it's just it was never that deep. At least not the original trilogy. Then, over the years, you had all those fucking extended universe books that was coming out talking about all these other characters that you didn't read alright let's give it a buck alright if you can name five listen if you can go ahead and show me that you own five of those fucking books I'll shut the fuck up and I bet you can't anyways so compared to the OG trilogy alright they at least took that franchise after the sequel trilogy and decided, let's expand on it. Let's expand on it. It's this big old universe. So many characters we already have. We can make new characters, write new stories, tell new tales, 
get new perspectives, have different levels of this and that in the storytelling, all right? Now, that I do appreciate when it comes to Star Wars, all right? Think of all the dope ass Star Wars, Bad Batch, Rebels, freaking Andor, Mandalorian. Freaking, freaking! I like the Soka. I don't care. What, actually, in fact, I actually like the Acolyte. I didn't think it was that bad of a fucking show. Boo this man! <laughs> because it's stuck. They all have the basics that you require for a Star Wars franchise. All right, you got space wizards, dog fights, lightsaber battles lasers and other alien shit that's all you need or a combination of those all right you even show that you got none of that that has to be the most compelling storytelling i ever heard and oh that's right andor see why i'm hanging out with this like and and, th and then most of the people don't realize that them old ass movies like you gotta have you only have to have an iq about the level of the temperature of fucking like like like, like 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 a cup of fucking like tap water to understand those movies, which is okay. Sometimes simple may be the best way through, but please let's not act like we're not putting shit up with like Citizen Kane, my nigga. Like, all right, this ain't Taxi Driver, all right? Like, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck, all right? And that's just constant echo chamber of all these people. Because they, 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 they watch these shows and movies and shit now, and the main character don't reflect what they see in the fucking mirror. They can't superimpose themselves onto the character because the character is nothing like them. Then they act like there's a goddamn problem. Alright? Like, now they're all worried. It's like, there's identity politics and pandering and GEI. Yeah, listen, this constant echo chamber of Disney ruined it, need to stop. Because I specifically remember when that prequel trilogy dropped, everyone was like, oh, this is trash, this is trash, this is trash. Ooh. Fast forward 20 odd years later, oh my god, the prequel trilogy was so good, it's so much better than this Disney shit. Shut the fuck up. Like, do you hear yourself? Do you fucking hear yourself? Like, get the fuck out of place. Like, I don't know. I just never seen the need to put that shit on a pedestal. All right, it's fucking Star Wars: space wizards, dog fights, lasers, and fucking lightsabers and shit. So, just like a lot of the media that people consume this day, these day, this day and age, and don't tell me you don't, because I see what trends on YouTube. I see that what trends on Twitter. I know for a fact, the fact that TikTok even exists. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. So anyways, that's my rant. I said what the fuck I said. Peace.